Hello friends, my name is Kate. So for today's video, we're gonna talk about uh, the serious problem nowadays which is about ICT because obviously we now we're all enrolled to not all but mostly of us are enrolled in online based of learning. So when you say ICT, we have a lot, lot of concerns that we need to tackle about. So that's why for today's video, we're gonna understand the basic concepts of ICT. And what's special about for today's video is that we have my old friend here and a good old classmate to help us discuss about this term. So without further ado, let's start. So first, we're going to talk about technology. So technology refers to a mix of process and products used in application of knowledge. So we say technology is more on application of the scientific knowledge for a practical practical purposes and it can be a machinery to help us deal our daily lives and make our lives more easier such as example we have some pen and paper some gadgets and apparently I'm using technology right now as you speak so now let's move to ICT literacy ICT literacy use of digital technology communication tools and or networks to access manage integrate evaluate create and communicate information in order to function in knowledge society so when we also say ICT literacy it's also the ability to use the tools to evaluate the reality and the power and the authority of the basis of the sources let's hit it up with educational technology so educational technology refers to the use of technology in teaching and learning it includes both non-digital and digital approaches. So educational technology is also the process of analyzing, designing, creating, implementing, and evaluating the instructional environment that we use. For example, from traditional to digital, or we can be mixed the traditional digital which is called blended learning. Now let's move on to digital literacy. So, digital literacy is the ability to find, evaluate, utilize, share, and create contents using information technologies and internet. And also, when we say digital technology, it is thus talk about the ability to use information and technologies to both cognitive and technical skills. Deal with digital learning. Digital learning is any type of learning that is in accompanied by technology or by instructional practice that makes effective use of technology. Yeah, digital learning, it also encompasses the application of wide spectrum of practices including blended or digital approach of learning or virtual learning. Now we will talk about online tools and apps that use of an internet. So this one is a little bit tricky. So when we say online tools and apps that use internet is something a tool of app that you need internet to access with and contrary to that we have the offline tools and app which is you basically don't need any internet to access with so it's basically internet free type of app which is available to anyone for example for online we have uh, virtual tele virtual telecommunications such as Skype virtual conferencing apps and many more to mention and for the offline we have here that KA Light or for me uh, Messenger is so Facebook Messenger is gonna be a perfect one for this offline tools and apps. Uh, next we have the instructional technology. Instructional technology is the theory and practice of design, development, utilization, management, and evaluation. The process and resources for learning. When we say instructional technology, it basically deals with the with the environment of the use the usage of technology for example we have the computer based learning and we have the just in time module which is for like this one we are we're currently using a computer based learning which is online and some are using modules or the modular type of learning and now we are gonna hit up with software software refers to program control instructions and accompanying documents stored on these other tapes when not being used in computers. When you say software, it's something you can touch, you can't touch, 
but you can use for example we have the pro built-in program like the windows perhaps the microsoft name is word or application and you need to download it now let's talk about multimedia multimedia is a sequential or simultaneous use of variety of formats in a given presentation or self-study program when we say multimedia is an art of using more than one communication tools or expression now let's move to internet so internet is a massive network of networks a networks infrastructure it is generally defined as a global network connecting millions of computers basically internet is the backbone of the society for nowadays because most of us use internet am i right so lastly i'm gonna deal with you with the world wide web it's world wide web you may ask so the world wide web is a graphical environment on computer networks that allows you to access view and maintain documentation that can include text data sound and videos of the internet so yeah that's it for me so now i'm gonna move you up to my partner which is going to talk about the other part of the concepts of the ICT. Hi, Bessie, and the next topic is web access. Web access means having a con connection to the world wide web through an access provider or an online service provider such as American Online. It is WebQuest. WebQuest is an inquiry-oriented activity in which students get all information from the web. Teacher provide links to documents that include links to website to use the information. Then the productivity tools. Productivity tools are applications that allow for the viewing, creating, and modifying of general office documents. Example, spreadsheet, memos, presentation letters, personal database, uh, image editing, and etc. And now we have technology tools. Technology tools can expand the human ability for performing tasks or generating products. These technology tools can be classified as data or calculation tools, design tools, discussion tools, angle tools, and handheld devices. So first, we have data or calculation tools. There are examples of data or calculation tools, and these are spreadsheet, Excel, and sketchpads. Second is the design tools. Design tools are used to make models are threaded discussion, forum, blogging, live chat, and video teleconferencing, netiquette, and safety on the net. Then, email tools. Email tools are great communication tools for sending messages, videos, and other files. It allows you to reach out to the other around the world. And last is the handheld devices. Handheld devices have become popular among the personal digital assistant, portable electronic keyboards, digital cameras, mobile phones, and handheld computers. And that's the five classified technology tools. Moving on, we have also Black. Do you know what Black is? Black is a discussion informational website published on the World Wide Web, consisting of discrete, often informal, their style, text, entries, or posts. Next for blog is Wiki. Wiki is a server program that allows users to collaborate in forming the content of the website. Then, Flip Classroom. Flip Classroom is a strategy and a type of blended learning focused on student engagement and active learning, giving the instructor a better opportunity to deal with mixed level student difficulties and differentiated learning preference during the class. Now we have podcast. Podcast is an episodic service of spoken word, digital audio files that a user can download to a personal device for easy listening. Oh, there are Google Apps. That's very popular. Anyway, Google Apps is a way based of collaborative software as a service solution that customizes the proprietary. Google platform and run for business for sizes including large enterprises. And it also facilitates.
facilitates the provisioning of Google application and user management tools including Gmail, Google Calendar, Google Video, Google Cloud, Connect. Next is Blog. Blog is a short video blog and that includes video clips. It may be entirely video based on may include both video and writing commentary. Several types of blog are available on web, including instructional videos, travel updates, and personal commentaries. So what I'm doing right now is what we call blog. Then we have Facebook. Facebook is defined as online social networking website where people can create profiles, share information, and respond or link to the information posted by them. And last, VOIP or Voice Over IP is the transmission of voice and multimedia content over internet protocol network. And that's all the 24 terms and concepts in ICT.